here. Let's see if anyone's alive. We'll see. Much better. Okay, we'll see who's up, what's going on. So we have one viewer. I don't know. Uh, this is David. Let's get my this. Okay, that seems to work reasonably well. So as soon as you've um, logged in, pop on the pop on the live chat, so I know who's who and what's what. Hmm. I wonder what's going on. It's got any neurons. What about virus as well? Right. Do hurry up, my dudes. I want to get this over and done with. Okie dokie. Got a message saying that these guys are connecting. That's excellent. Superlative. Which always makes me wonder who's always the one person that secretly watches my videos? Pop in the chat box. I like to meet you, whoever you are. So I've always got one viewer. Maybe it's just me watching. No, it can't be because I, I haven't got a second screen watching this. I wonder who it is. I don't know. It is a mystery. So if for some reason the internet snow too, well yeah, that's gonna that's, that's gonna happen, isn't it? I mean, I've had moments like that. Um it'll just take as long as it takes, it's no problem. Hmm. <laughs> I well, we may as well while I'm waiting. Oh, there are people here. Excellent. Um, pop your name in the live chat to see whether you're the people I'm meant to be teaching or just people who come to visit. Here's another one come to visit. I'm passing the time to me. Right, let me get about my business. Uh, work from the computer. There it is. Ugh. Let's be safe, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's see who's on. Still not on. That's four people, but no one's in the chat box. Right, so that's Harris. That's a start. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so we're down to three people. So we've got two people and whoever the mystery person is that watches my videos every single time. Who I suspect might, I don't know. But sometimes there's no people, so I don't think it is a reflection of me, you know. Right, okay, that person has now run away because you're really scared because I've called them out on live, live internet. You can just come and say hello, my dude. I always like to meet new people. It's um, 
an infamous war. I'll talk to anyone, me. Right. No, it doesn't really matter. Cancel. There you go. Well done. I was looking at some other stuff. I've written somebody's CV and I need to send it off to them today. Um, okay, where did I save this? Yeah. Never mind, I'll worry about that later. All right, Numan, superb. All right. Well, I was glad to say, I'm pretty happy with completing the square one. I looked at Harris's in quite a bit of detail and looked good. I mean, Numan, I'll have a look at yours later. And if there's anything disastrous, I'll, I'll, really, I'll look at it you know, during the course of this lesson. All right, so two things, and then we'll finish with completing the square of quadratics for a bit. We'll move on to simultaneous equations next week. Um, using it, so using CTS, I'm sure you understand, is completing the square to solve equations, yeah? And remember, we're solving quadratics here. So we, this whole topic that we've been doing since lockdown has been quadratic. And then the other thing we can use it for is CTS on non monic quadratics. Okay, what does that mean? I mean, there's, there's a lot of kind of buzzwords in there. It just means things where it's like AX squared, so A is any number rather than just X squared. So this will be a monic because it's just X squared. This would be non monic. All right. So what we need to do is take down those two things as heading. I'll give you about 30 seconds to do that. Then I'm going to walk you through an example of each. All right. And then we'll do some practice. And then hopefully we'll be done with completing the square. Our next topic is going to be simultaneous equations. That's when you've got two equations at once. And instead of looking for just one letter, you're looking for two letters. So instead of just looking for x, you're going to find what x and y. It doesn't have to be x and y, it could be a and b, it could be other letters, all right? So hopefully that gives you kind of rundown of where we're going with all this. It's not just something I'm randomly pulling out of my hat. Where does that phrase come from, randomly pulling things out of hats? Oh, of course, a magician. Sometimes I need it. Never mind. Right, cool. So you copy that down. I'm going to send a CV to one of my students. I can get my computer to actually behave like a computer rather than a walking pain in the neck that you normally have. Cool. Nope, pain in the neck is the one. Yeah, so once you finish copying, can you pop in the chat so I can move on? So obviously, mind reading. I've got many, many skills. Mind reading is not one, unfortunately. It's in the teaching content, is this? Lesson content. Yeah, lesson content. Files. So again, pop up in the chat box. Um, as and when. Um, you finished copying. I can't see anything at the moment, so I'll start to put on year 13. That's probably the safest place for it to be. Yeah, year 13 stuff. So, boom. No, it was not there. I didn't ask it to be there. Um, thank you. Thank you. Got it. Still an ominous silence on this um, channel from you guys in the chat. So, as soon as I said, as soon as you finish copying, put in the live chat that you finished copying so I know I can move on. So you've got to copy your two headings and you need to copy again. And I've taught this about a thousand times now, the difference between a monic and non-monic quadratic, all right? As soon as you've done that, we'll move on. All right, attach, attach. Attach, attach, attach. Upload from, for flip sakes. I do hate laptops. I do hate working from home. If I can't find the guy who ate the bat, I mean, I'll crucify him quite frankly at this point. He's burning alive. Um, not very kind, but you know, doesn't deserve to live that fella. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody just buzzed at me. Okay, fine. It's not the end of the world. Come on. You can do it. Good boy. That should not work. All right, so what's going on on your side? Done. Excellent. Now we're getting somewhere, all right? Only took nine minutes, 50 seconds. Okay, dudes, let's see how this works, all right? I'll do the, the solve you one first because that's the easiest. I'll pick two numbers. Let's go through. So x squared. 
plus, I don't know, um, 8x plus 15 equals 0. Now, I know you can solve this incredibly easy by factorising, but what I'm asking you to do is compare it to using the formula instead, because the completing the square method works for everything, the same way the, the, the formula works for everything. And factorising only works if it factorises. And sometimes, as you've tried, we've seen before, it doesn't, all right? So we'll try this example, then we'll do one, then we'll do one which we'll need a calculator. Um, and you'll see that completing the square is faster with equations that don't factorise than the formula, but it's not faster than things that do factorise. So it's like the middle speed, yeah? So if it factorises, great, factorise. Don't even look back at completing the square to solve it. But if it comes to the fact that, you know, it's one that doesn't factorise, I'd rather complete the square than use the formula. And let me show you how. Let me show you the method first. First things first, make it so it's just got the x's on one side and the numbers on the other. So you've got this as it stands. All right? That's step number one. Make x's on one side and the numbers on the other. Can you take a note that, you know, as I'm saying, write down why you're doing the things you're doing. The reason why you're doing that is because you need to complete the square. And that number minus, that 15 isn't helping you know, you can't complete, well, you can, but let's put it on the other side and just keep the things you're going to complete the square with on this side. Right. Next thing you're going to do is complete the square. And hopefully you remember enough about that. I don't need to explain that. That will give you x minus 4 squared minus 16 equals minus 50. All right? So I'll just complete the square on the left-hand side. Hopefully that's not going to be too onerous, unpleasant, disgusting. You know, it's, it's just a thing. All Superlative. Put this minus 16 on the other side, and now you've got x plus 4 squared equals 1. Why? Right? Add 16 to both sides. Minus 15, add 16 is positive 1. Then all you've got to do is square root, and your job's done. So x plus 4 equals the square root of 1, which is plus or minus 1. So x equals, so I was going to put it on this side, I should have gone up a bit higher. X equals minus th 4, sorry, minus 4, plus or minus 1. Your two answers are X equals minus 3 or X equals minus 5. All right? That's not the clearest way of writing that. So I'm going to just move this down just a teensy bit and write it down here, which is going to be super awkward, but it doesn't matter. X equals minus 4 plus or minus 1. So the two answers that you can get out of that is going to be minus 3, and minus five. Those are your two solutions. All right. So can you copy that one out for me? So your two answers were minus three, minus five. I know I just realize you can't see that particularly well on the video. Um, so I'll, do, I'll raise it and go, one is minus three, x equals minus three, or x equals minus five. So that's hopefully a teensy bit easier to see. Yeah, no, it is. Okay, cool, that's that's not too bad, actually. Let me sort of see that. What we're going to do is do another example. This time you're going to need a calculator for it. But before I do that, copy it out and put it in a live chat, whether you've copied it out with notes. So no point just copying out line for line. If there's any line you don't understand, say, I don't understand the fourth line, and I'll explain it again. Okay?
Right, so I'm just waiting on you guys to confirm that you've understood and you need to put that in a live chat and then you've copied down everything with notes. Or if you don't understand what it is that you don't understand, you need to explain that as well. So like, I don't understand line three. Explain to me how line three works, all right? Do understand that your Wi-Fi is suffering a bit today. Fair enough. I mean, it's going to happen. I mean, mine seems okay. It doesn't seem to have any particular issues today. I mean, I'm looking at um, Instagram and everything's playing well. So as soon as you've done that, let me know. Only Virgin Media Wi-Fi is bad. I mean, yeah, I heard about this. This was a bit weird. I'm not sure if mine is. I'm not sure if mine is. I think mine is Virgin. It seems to be holding on okay. There was like an issue about um, on Monday, Monday and Tuesday. It started getting awkward. Um, but it's been all right since then for us. I mean, it's not perfect, but, you know, it's, I'm able to live stream full on lessons. I mean... So you can't really complain too much about that. So as, soon as, as I said, as soon as you're done, pop down in the live chat that you've copied out everything and you understand everything. And if you don't understand everything, you need to say so. All right, then we'll go for it. You don't understand the last two lines. Okay, cool. So anyway, I'm going to close up on those last two lines then. So we had, what, x plus 1 um, squared. So it's x plus 4 squared, wasn't it? E equals 1, yeah? So what I'm going to do is imagine you did the square root on both sides. You square root the bracket. It's already squared. It will just cancel out to being x plus 4. And if you square root 1, the square root of 1 is just 1. All right, but because we're doing, you know, quadratic, it's really plus or minus one. All right, happy so far? So I, all I did was I square rooted left-hand side and right-hand side. That's it. Then I moved this guy onto the other side, so it's taking away four. So I've got x equals minus four plus or minus one, right? And that gives you two potential answers. If you go minus four plus one, you're going to get minus three. If you go minus four minus one, it gives you minus five. And that's the explanation of the last few lines, right? Is there any particular issue with that? So once you get to here, you just square root and then you move and rearrange. And because you've got plus or minus, you're going to get two answers. All right? So I hope that makes sense to you. Right, so can you either confirm you've understood or say you want more explanation, yeah? So each time I'm going to explain something, just put down, yeah, I understand this, ready to move on, or don't get this, need an explanation. Otherwise, we just end up with like three or four minute kind of gaps in the conversation. And then what, a lesson that can take 40 minutes ends up taking an hour. You know what I'm saying? So if you're on it, just be on it the whole time going, yeah, I get this, I'm comfy, let's move on. Let's do the next example, let's do the next exercise, whatever. Or I don't get this, you need to explain this again. I know, like, it also made the video better as well. Brilliant. Well, not brilliant. Excellent. That's excellent. Okay, cool. So, like, you might also say, well, that example that you picked there, previously one, right? It's better to do it by factorization than you do, right? So, let's do one which will require calculators. So, scrambling for calculators now, please. While I'm writing this question up. So, x squared plus 5x minus 1 equals 0. This definitely doesn't factorize. Um, I made it so it doesn't factorize. And I'm going to show you how completing the square will get this done faster than using the formula. Because remember, if you can't factorize, you still got to try and solve the equation. Your only option right now, before anyway, before this lesson started, was to be able to use the formula, which goes minus b, just quick reminder of the formula, minus b, b squared 
minus 4ac all over 2a. And that's a bit of a faff, yeah? Not to mention the chance of getting it wrong with your sums, you know, getting your maths wrong, is definitely, there's a possibility there, isn't there? There's definitely a possibility that you could get, you could type in something wrong in your calculator and mess it up. So there's two reasons why this formula is less effective than completing the square. And let me demonstrate that for you right now. So step number one, I put the one on the other side. Well, it's a minus one. So I put the one minus one on the other side and I get a positive one just like that. Comfy, you know. Complete the square again. I noticed in some of your work, um, you're still running back to decimals. Decimals need to die for you, especially on this, because a decimal is less effective in mathematics than a fraction, right? So half of five is two and a half. So that's, or two, five halves. So that's 25 over four equals one, yeah? So what did I do? I halved it and I squared it, yeah? You remember how that works. You just complete the square. Pop this on the other side. And you've got x plus 5 over 2. Now, I'm square rooting both sides. Sorry, I haven't square rooted both sides. I'm going to put that there now. Uh, put that on the other side. You've got minus 1 plus 25 over 4. 1 is just 4 over 4, so that's just 29 over 4. All right? So this is just that. I've put this onto the other side, and I get this. And if I just simplify that, I get that as 29 over 4. All right? Up to this point, do we understand? Yes or no? Why is it positive one? Well, if you add one to both sides there, the add one will cancel there, and the add one will cancel there, all right? So all I've done is I've added one to both sides. I know your teachers usually teach it, or you move it on to the other side and swap the sign. Well, that's the same thing, really. But the mathematical actual thing is add one to both sides, all right? To get rid of the minus one. So again, proper chat, as soon as you either understand it or you've still got questions, and then we'll finish off this question. I don't answer the last two lines. Okay, cool. So what we've done here is complete the square. That's literally all we've done on this line, right? So if you didn't understand this, that means you didn't understand last lesson, which makes it a bit weird that you, did, you managed to do the homework, right? All I did was complete the square here. From there to there, you get to there, right? Half of five is five halves. Five half squared is 25 over four, yeah? Now the last line, on the other hand, all I've done is I've moved this onto that side. I've added 20, 25 over four to both sides. So it's moved, well, this has just died because I've added 25 over 4 to both sides, and I've now got this. Yeah, ignore that for the minute. So this line, all I've done is I've added 25 over 4 to both sides. This guy's got cancelled, and I've now got that, all right? And all I've said after that is, well, okay, look. 1 is 4 over 4 by definition, because 4 divided by 4 is... One, yeah? So this and this are the same. So what do these two add up to? Four over four plus 25 over four, that's just 29 over four. So all I'm doing is just a bit of maths to simplify this, it equals that, all right? Any other problems on that so far? Right, cool. So you're starting to get somewhere with that. Okay, cool. So 29 over 4, brilliant. Right. So let's finish this off then. I'm going to replace this into there. So I know that's already 29, but I've done the maths for it. Now I'm going to square root both of these guys. So square root this guy, easy. The square vanishes, it's just x plus 5 over 2. Yeah? Square root of 29, I don't know. I'm just going to write a square root of 29. What's the square root of 4? It's 2. All right? So square rooting just gives me that x plus 5 over 2. equals the square root of 29 over 2, yeah? 
And of course, you've got plus or minus there as well. So all I've done is square rooted. X plus 5 over 2 equals plus or minus root 29 over 2. So I'm going to bring a new line here to finish this off. So you've got x plus 5 over 2 equals root 29 over 2. And I'm going to move the camera so that will help a little bit. You see all of it. Okay, cool. And it's a plus or minus because whenever you're square rooting, well, generally, actually, square rooting should just give you the positive value, but we know it's a quadratic, so we, we'll deal with that. So here we go, x equals, I'm going to move this onto the other side. Get, sorry, when I keep saying move this, I mean I'm going to take away five and a half from both sides. So it makes minus 5 over 2 plus or minus root 29 over 2. All right, so that's been moved over onto the other side. And of course, they've got the same denominator. So we can write x equals minus 5 plus or minus root 29 over 2. Both got the same denominator. We can just add them, subtract them. All right? So all you need to do is do that once with the plus and once with the minus to get your answer. So one of your answers would be minus 5 plus root 29 over 2. And one of your answers would be minus 5 plus root 29. Sorry, minus, sorry. Apologies. What's a 2 there? The other answer would be minus 5 minus root 29 over 2. And you can just type those in your calculator and get your two answers. All right? So if you could write that out for me, any steps you don't understand, can you put that in the chat box for me? And of course, can you work out the final answer by just typing into calculator as well? That would be handy. Okay, so there's three things you need to do. Copy it out with notes. Check you understand it line by line. If there's any line you don't get, say so. And then once you've done that, put in the chat box the actual decimal answer now. Because we've got to the final step. We can write it as a decimal if you want to. Unless obviously the question says no. I don't understand the steps on the right. Okay, cool. So what you've done there is move the five, sorry, not move the five halves, get rid of the five halves on this side. So take away five halves on both sides. So minus five halves here, minus five halves there. Minus five halves here just cancel, so you just get X. And here on this side, you've got minus five halves there. So far, so good. Hopefully nothing's changed. So from here to there, all I've done is taken away minus five halves on both sides. Then I've used the simple rules of adding fractions that if they've got the same denominator, you just add the tops and add the bottom. So you, add, you just add the tops, you don't do anything to the bottom, my apologies. You just add the tops and you keep the bottom the same. So if you add the tops, you've got minus 5 plus or minus root 29. You keep the bottom the same, it's still over 2. All right, it's still over 2. So that's how you get from this line to that line, just using fraction rules. Yeah, If the denominator is the same, just add the numerators and get on with your life. Okay, And then all I did here was make two choices. Either it's going to be a plus. So minus 5 plus root 29 over 2, or it's going to be a minus, minus 5 minus root 29 over 2. So those are your two options. And what I want you to do now, once you finish copying it, is type each one of those in your calculator and give me an answer. All right, give me an answer. Tell me what you think the answer is. Okay. So again, what I need you to do is pop back up in the live chat. I just realized you can't see that very well. Maybe that's, that's a little bit easier to see. Um, once you've either understood this or what explanations you need further, then I'm going to ask, we're going to do one together. You're going to start leading on that. Then I'll show you something else as well. So we've got a fair bit to get on with, right? So quickly hit that live chat with what you need support with. Because we've at least got another half an hour's worth of content to cover if we're going to finish this. And I'm going to finish this. I'm tired of doing it. Completely square at this point. It is getting a bit tiresome.
So I'm waiting on you guys to give me some feedback on this. Do you understand or not? Are you ready to move on yet? So I'm just waiting on you guys in a moment. Excellent, well done. So I'm just waiting on Harris now. And we're going to do an example. You don't understand the last three steps. So here, here, and here. Okay, it's really, really simple. All I've done on from this line to this line is I've taken away my, my five halves from both sides, all right? Plus five halves, minus five halves is zero. It's gone, yeah? Put the minus five halves, if you're going to do it, take it away from this side, you get minus five halves plus or minus root 29 over two. So all I've done is I've taken away this fraction from here and here to get me to there. So now I'm here, all right? Now, when you add fractions and they've got the same denominator, you can just add the numerators and keep the denominator the same. So minus 5 plus or minus root 29, that's when they're added together, and the denominator is still 2. So you get that, all right? Now, you've got two choices then. Either you're going to be a plus, that'll give you answer number 1, or you're going to be a minus, that'll give you answer number 2, because it says plus or minus, doesn't it? Yeah? So what's going on there is... Once you get to this stage where you've got all this one chunky fraction, just pick a plus on one side and a minus on the other. Okay? And that's what's going to give you two solutions, potentially. There might be one solution, might be none, to be fair. All right? Where do we stand with this? Do we understand or not? Do we understand that now or not? Put it in the live chat as quick as you can. As soon as you understand or you're still confused, put something in the chat, please. We'll get me wrong. And I'm still waiting on you guys, quick as you can. Try and be, I know your internet's struggling, it's probably not your fault. But like, try and get your responses in the live chat as fast as you can so you can get moving. Because as I said, there's a whole other chunk of stuff we need to do today if we're going to finish completing the square. And it's not something I can really afford to rush. Well, I can rush it, but you won't understand it. 
So we need to pick up the pace quite considerably here. Right, so that's good. Right, let's move. Okay, so let's do an example together now, yeah? So you've seen two examples where I've led. Now this is the one where you're gonna lead. Um, and we're going to do it step by step. So here we go. Here's x squared plus 6x minus 4 equals 0. Can you write in the chat box the next line? Okay, the next line of working out. So can you write in the chat box the next line of working out? If you're struggling to put the power, just put x2. I know what you mean. All right. So what should be the first line we do now? How good is this person? What's something can do? I'm going to fill the pen, that's no point. So what I'm waiting for you is your response. What should the next line be in your working out? So we're completing the square on this guy. What should you be doing? So pop in the live chat what you think the next line of the working out is. Right, so, yeah, I mean, that's not the first step. Yeah, so that's the second step, but I'll give it to you. So x plus 3, then what? What should have happened to that minus 4? Where should it go? That is legitimately the first step. Where does the minus 4 go?
So what's going to happen is the minus 4 is going to go on this side. This is going to be a minus 9. All right. So that's what you're working out should look like at the end of line. Well, actually, that's really line 2. But that's what you're not working out should look like. Now, what I want you to do is try and do the next two lines and then write down in the chat box when you've done it. Okay, so I'm asking you to do is write down the next two lines and you're working out and write down in the chat box when you've done it. So as soon as you've done the next two lines, pop your, pop your thing in the live shot, and then we'll move on, and I'll show you what those two lines will be. done good right so we know x this is what it should look like at the end of your working you should have x plus 3 squared equals 13 all right x plus 3 squared equals 13 and then after that you square it both sides and you've got x plus 3 equals the square root of 13. So the next thing I want you to do, what happens next? Yeah, so it's a plus or minus 13. What happens next? And finally, what is your final answer? Okay, so what you've done is you, you're now, you'll have done most of the question by yourself. You've had some support, obviously. So you're up to this point, hopefully, if you've got your working out right. And if you haven't, that's what you should have got. Now I want you to finish off the last two lines and give me the answer, okay? And I'm going to wait for about four or five minutes for you to do that. Okay. And that'll take us up to about 50 minutes. It looks like we're going to have to have another lesson on completing the square, which is a pain, right? But I mean, I guess if we if it takes this long, it takes this long. It is what it is. All right. Maybe we could do some of the um, simultaneous equations as well to next week.
So we're looking for the final answer now, just waiting on you to pop it in the live chat. So again, just waiting on feedback in the live chat. Can't do anything till we've heard from that. Is it three and a half? Okay, well, it will never be a decimal that's gonna be that simple. So it'd probably be a longer decimal. Your answers would be X equals minus three plus or minus root 13. Root 13 is about three and a bit, yeah? Say 3.5. So the square root might be about 3.5. I mean, I'm not sure about that. I reckon your answers will be somewhere around um, so what's that? Let's just I'm trying to do root 13 in my head. Um, it's going to be somewhere around six and a bit, minus six and a bit, or zero point something. Yeah, so those are your two answers because you've got minus three plus or minus root 13. So either minus three plus root 13, which is zero point something, or it's minus three minus root 13, which is six and a bit. Right, so those are your two answers. And I don't understand where the hell you got any other answers from, to be honest with you. So look at my working out. See if you can find out if and where you made a mistake. Um, and that hopefully will make a bit more sense. Done minus six. Where did two come from? Look at that. Where did you find a two? Um, and where did you find a six as well? See, I'm baffled. Because none of that makes any sense. You've got x plus three equals root plus or minus root 13. There is no fraction, so don't make one. Um, the only reason we had a fraction in the last example because there was a fraction in the first place. I didn't make my own fraction to make my life harder. They just... There was a fraction in the question, right? And fractions are better than decimals, but there aren't any decimals here. The only time a decimal turns up is if you do root 13, and that's right at the end. Okay? But why? Why double anything? Just move on, right? So all you've got to do is go square root here, put the minus 3, add minus... So take away minus 3 from both sides. You get minus 3 plus or minus root 13, and then it becomes incredibly simple. I hope, anyways. Right, yeah, you, you clearly did make a sense. It's fine. I mean, we're learning. Um, it just means we're going to have to spend a little bit more time in terms of, like, guess what? Next lesson is still completing the square, then. But it's going to get awkward in that we're spending a lot of time. I suppose if you need to learn it, you need to learn it. It's not going to go any faster. There's no one whinging about it, but, you know. Let's grow. Let's roll. Let's roll. Um, Hopefully you understand now. Is Harry still alive? Yes. Um, zero point, yeah, I believe that. Um, zero point something and minus six and a bit. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Um, that looks a bit more plausible. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Um, okay, cool. Another then. This is the last one we're doing today, which means that the second part of this lesson will actually happen next Saturday. 
which is the one that what happens when you have to complete the square when there's a number in front of x squared. Um, okay. So let's just do one more then. And then once we finish doing this, again, I'll keep it as an even number so we don't have to worry about fractions. Again, doesn't factorize, doesn't factorize. So finish this one off. Just go straight to the answer. Don't use the formula. You have to complete the square. There's no point in using the formula. You already know how to use the formula, hopefully. Anyway. So once you finish, type it in the solution box. As soon as you've got solutions, put them in the live chat, then I'll pop your homework. <coughs> it's one of the 1.1 pieces. Tell you what, I'm going to have a look. So you're going to go x plus 4x positive 7. X squared, so that's going to be X plus 2, and then X plus 2 squared minus 4 equals 7. So then you've got X squared plus 2 um, equals root plus or minus root 11. X equals, no, is the answer to that. Actually, it might be. It might be if root 11 is 3.316. Yeah, I think it might be, actually. Um, your other one should be somewhere around minus five. Yeah, 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 that looks good. You got it. Okay, cool. Well done, well done, Harris. You've mastered that. Um, I'm going to start putting up your, you've got six homework questions to do. Um, three of them will be easy whole numbers. Three of them will be fractions. We will pick this up again next lesson, I think. So we've gone an hour and that's fine. Um, X squared plus four X minus seven. And I've done that, I? minus 11. So the first three will be very, very easy because there won't be any fractions in them and there'll be even numbers. Plus the minus one equals zero, x squared. They will all need a calculator though. And you have to do them by completing the square. If you kind of submit homework where it's obvious you've used the formula, then that, we'd have to do it again. Um, so that's, that's the three easy ones. Let's change up the color. If you do three harder ones, these guys are all gonna be fractions based. So x squared plus seven x, minus one equals zero, x squared minus seven x minus one equals zero. So again, it's a very similar question, but this time it's a minus sign on it, and x squared minus, so plus three x minus 15 equals zero. Okay, so those are your six questions, take a note. I'm gonna keep this video on for about another three and a half minutes, so you have plenty of time to copy your homework. The video will be up later tonight, probably. Sometimes it takes again tomorrow, Till tomorrow morning, depending on how long YouTube takes to kind of, you know, upload, etc. So don't stress about that. Um, but it will be up definitely by tomorrow morning. Hmm. So, about another two and a half minutes.
And then I'm going to turn this video off for obvious reasons. Okay, cool. In that case, I'll cut the stream now. Take care. That's your homework. Make sure it gets done for me. If you need any help, ask your mom to drop me a message. All right, take care. Bye.